what is a wiki? Now, I'm not talking about the sound you make when you're on a DJ turntable and going wiki wiki. I'm talking about in computer terms. So a wiki is a website or online resource that different people can edit or contribute to. Here are some examples of websites which are wikis. The most common one and one that most people know about is Wikipedia, which is an online encyclopedia where people can add data or information to the encyclopedia. There's also wiki books where people can write books and they can edit them, add other variations of those books in other languages. So anyone has access to change and edit those books. WikiHow is a resource or website that you can add information about how to do different things. And Fandom is a wiki site for all the fans out there. If you want to create an encyclopedia or resource about a particular fan topic, maybe a particular type of TV show like Star Wars or a Marvel superhero or anything to do with revolving around fans, you can create a nice little resource and all the information about that particular topic on Fandom. Here is an example of a page on Wikipedia. So let's just look at the features that are available. First of all, you'll notice at the top there that I'm not logged on. You need to create an account in order to add information to wikis. If you want to do that, you should create an account so that you can be a contributor towards the different articles. You'll also notice that this has a lock there, which means it's semi-protected. There are certain requirements that you have to follow in order to change the data on this page. Some sites are fully protected, which means they allocate only a certain group of people can be allowed to change that particular wiki page. Let's look at the content. If we go deeper into this particular paragraph, you'll notice that there are footnotes. And those footnotes relate to the references at the bottom of the page, which tell you where they got that information from. A good wiki will specify what information has been authenticated or has re been referenced and what information still need to be clarified. A lot of people don't trust wikis, or particularly Wikipedia, but if the information has been referenced, then you can find where the original information came from. Another useful resource is the view history where you can see all the changes that have been made to this particular page and who made those changes. So what are the advantages of using a wiki? It's very collaborative, meaning lots of people can work together on one page or set of information. It's very instantaneous. In other words, you're not relying on a certain group of people to always keep the information up to date. Often you'll see articles about quick changes in the news and before you know it, if you go to the wiki page for that particular set of information, it's already been updated because you've got people all around the world that are willing to change the information as it happens. You can track the history and see what changes have been made over time and who made those changes. And it's very flexible in the way that the layout is done. You can specify how that information looks and you're not restricted by a particular format. But there are some disadvantages to using a wiki. And those include people who are unqualified can add information. Some people use wikis as a way to vandalize or create spam. In other words, they will add information that's incorrect to a particular page because they don't like the person or like the content. Or they could just add spam, in other words, links to sites that don't exist or to do their websites. It obviously requires internet in order to make these changes, so you need internet access. Although it might be flexible, it could create some sort of disorganized look where not every page has the same format or layout. And that is all you need to know about wikis. Wiki wiki. Every Thursday at 3 p.m. is our Theory Thursday where we post a new computer term. So click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss out when we post that. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.